Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another episode of our The Wolf Among Us Let's Play. Uh, last week we finished with Johan at the butchery and managed to find the shard for the magic mirror. So I am guessing that this week we'll be putting the mirror back together and finding out what it can see. So without further ado, we'll get into it. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. Crane was helping himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him I go? I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally. Things I are really hope back that's in the, right direction. the rest of Good the work, mirror. Bigby. You've been gone it looked like day. a very small shard. I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Undoubtedly. Anyway... No, it's fine. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Yeah, it's just that Don't go far, that shard sir. looks a bit, um... I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Well, you were trying to hide Fuck shit off. that incriminated you. I know you were you. burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're going to have a long fucking talk about anyway, this when I'm done. That shard at the back so looks talks. too short to be with the full shard. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Crane was carrying it for part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, however. Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer and bickering they're... Bickering like little children. They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? I don't think they care, to be honest. Do you need some help over there? Yeah. Thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. 
That was a very patty looking wolf. I see how it is. Cast off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Now that we're not in his shop, what more do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamoured, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. I kind of but wish of that we got to see the farm in this. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Such an asshole, isn't he? Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine, we'll deal well, with it. As long as he gets the glamour, then. I know I you should know. be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I figured out, that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles. Can I just say there's somebody Where hanging in the background of this image? Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just On the tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Ah, good. Okay. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. That's a good rhyme. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way, so please, please disobey. I guess really there's no way to Wait get away minute. from her. Someone's watching. What? Any Just kind of happened. reflectives. We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. Any reflective surface she could use. To feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So. Where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. <laughs> the door moves. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again. It's a bit like the fortress in uh, Krull. You when know, you get the every day, make sure you the location of it moves. He has to stand trial. And it's never in the same location twice. Street justice. I know that emotions can run high. 
and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. For now, anyway. Right. So I'm going to leave it there this week. Um, we're a little over the 10 minute mark at the moment. So next week we'll pick up in Central Park looking for the door and hopefully finding more answers as to what's going on. So I hope you've enjoyed it and until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.